lesson one goes over how to open up a part and how to manipulate and and see that part so let's let's go through this a little bit i'm not going to go over every single step but i want to get you started here so on moodle i have actually put all the exercise files so if you go to the moodle web page here um, under creo assignments there's creo tutorial part files so i'm going to click that and then I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm going to download this folder. So if I download the folder, what's going to happen is it's all going to be put in a zip file. And uh, I'll open that zip file up after it downloads. And here are all the files. I'm going to extract all these files from the zip. The zip file combines a bunch of files together into a single file. I'm going to now unpack all of those by clicking Extract All extract all here and where do I want to put those well I want to put those in my working directory so I'll click browse and uh, down at the bottom here I have my H drive and I was working in lesson one let's see where is that at lesson one and uh, this is the folder I want to uh, put all the files so I'll say select folder and then I'll extract all of those so it's going to take a moment extract all those and now they're all in that folder and I can close uh, these windows if I want and now let's go back to Creo here so I have Creo up and running and I have my working directory set to that folder here lesson one and I can just select open now it's going to show me all these files um, and it has you go through several of these but I'm going to just select this assembly file here and um, with this file open, um, hopefully everyone has a three button mouse here. So with my three button mouse, I can do several things. So the middle scroll wheel will zoom in and out. So if I scroll with the middle wheel, it will scroll in and out. The right click will bring up different options. So the right click will bring up an options menu. The left click will then select certain things. So if I left clicked here. Now, as you can see, this is somewhat messy. It's a little messy here. Um, so if you wanna change your visibility right up here under this button, it kind of looks like an X with a dashed line and the coordinate system. If I click that, this is kind of our view display for any planes axes, all that stuff. So if you turn all of this off by selecting this checkbox, you can see it a little better, but a lot of times those will come in handy. So um, whether or not you wanna view those at a certain time, but you can turn those on and off. Okay, so rotating a part, if you wanna rotate, um, a lot of it comes down to the middle wheel here. So zooming in and out, we do the middle scroll on the wheel. But if we hold down that middle scroll wheel button and then drag, it's gonna rotate. So this is why the middle mouse button is so important in this program. Okay. So I can rotate by holding down the middle mouse button. If I wanna do sh hold down the shift key, so I'm gonna press the shift key and the middle mouse button at the same time, it's gonna pan so it doesn't rotate, it just moves it left and right, up and down. Okay, so that's holding down the shift key and the middle mouse button. And also if I do control, so now I'm gonna hold down control and then the middle mouse button, it's gonna rotate, okay? 